two files into the 2015 Standalone Phosphorus Site Index, or PSI, software. Newman 4.2 has the Phosphorus Management Tool, or PMT, built into the software. Instructions on how to calculate the PMT in Newman 4.2 is available in a separate video on the Agricultural Nutrient Management Program website. Nutrient management advisors must know how to calculate both the PSI and the PMT for operations with a soil fertility index value for phosphorus of 150 or greater, because both the PSI and the PMT scores must be reported in nutrient management plans for the next several years. Therefore, this video will show you how to export Newman 4.2 files to the 2015 Standalone Phosphorus Site Index software to generate PSI scores. First, make sure you have entered all plan information into Newman Pro 4.2. Determine which fields have an FIVP of 150 or greater. As a reminder, a warning will appear for these fields. Calculate the PMT as described in the separate video on the Agricultural Nutrient Management Program website. Once this has been completed, you are ready to export files to the 2015 Standalone PSI Program to generate PSI scores. Click File, Select Field Records. Choose the individual fields that need a PSI score calculated and move them from the source list to the target list. If all fields need a PSI, you can add all fields to the target list. Next, click Save As, choose the location on your computer where you would like to save the file, and change the type of file to save from Newman 4.2 files to UM PSI files. Exit the Select Records box. Open the 2015 standalone PSI software. To import the file you just exported from Newman Pro, click File Open or the Open File icon on the toolbar and navigate to the file location on your computer. Make sure the files displayed are UM PSI files. The standalone PSI has data entry tabs along the top of the window just like in Newman Pro. And just like in Newman Pro, you must enter information into fields with white backgrounds while those with blue or yellow backgrounds are populated based on information entered elsewhere. All information that you entered in Newman Pro should transfer to the PSI's Farmer and Consultant and Field tabs. The Russell option number 3 in PSI corresponds to Newman 4.2's external option. Using this method, you will calculate a Russell A value or soil erosion estimate in the Russell 2 software or obtain one from the Soil Conservation Plan. With this option selected, you will not have access to the tabs for calculating individual Russell factors and instead will be directed to the Index Part A tab. On the Index Part A tab, the Russell A value, the presence of artificial drainage, the field slope, and whether the field is concave should all transfer from the information you entered into the PMT in Newman Pro. Because distance to water and width of vegetative buffer are handled differently between PMT and PSI, you will have to select the appropriate values for these parameters in the standalone PSI. In addition, you must indicate the width of the no P application zone currently in use by the farmer. To change selections here, you will first have to unselect the green highlighted choice before the program will let you choose a different option. The P loss rating for this page should populate. If it does not, and the box is filled with asterisks, go back to make sure that you have entered values for all necessary information. Next, click the Index Part B tab. Again, fields with white backgrounds should be edited by you. The fertilizer recommendations, including starter P that you manually entered into the PMT and Newman, should transfer to this page in the standalone PSI. The selections for method and timing of incorporation should also transfer from the PMT and Newman. Split applications that you entered into the PMT and Newman should also transfer. If an organic source of phosphorus is being applied, the best approximation for the phosphorus source coefficient should transfer to the PSI from Newman. The phosphorus source coefficient differs for different types of organic amendments based on the amount of soluble phosphorus expected to be in that type of material. You can double check this by clicking on the PSC box and confirming the appropriate selection. This is especially important when multiple manures are being used. At this point, the P-loss rating for the selected practices should be displayed at the bottom of the screen. If no value appears or the box is filled with asterisks, go back to previous screens and make sure that you have entered all the necessary information. You will also see the final score and a description of the management implications for that score. It is always a good idea to double check your work before finalizing a PSI score.
To navigate to other fields in need of a PSI calculation, use the arrow buttons on the bottom of the window. To print PSI scores, click on File Print or choose the Print icon on the toolbar. Select the fields to print from the source list and add them to the target list. Choose PSI and click Print. That brings us to the end of this tutorial on how to export Newman 4.2 files into the 2015 standalone Phosphorus Site Index software.